So there's Siri on Apple devices, and then Microsoft has Cortana. But what about you? You're kind of cool to be your own Texas speech voice, right? Though, be kind of creepy. Just, just think about it. Like, you're chilling the bus, minding your own business, and then suddenly you hear yourself, and you're like, what the fuck? What's up guys, it's Alex Ram1313 from Eric Compware, and today I'm going to show you how to make your own text-to-speech engine using your own voice. Now just a quick warning before we get started, this is not the professional way to do this. That requires months of voice acting a ton of words and phrases, as well as knowing how to change a sound's frequency and speed to make it sound natural, and knowing how to read a sentence's context, and a full-on linguistics lesson isn't part of this video. For what is part of this video, however, we're going to use the following. First, the Carnegie Mellon Pronouncing Dictionary. Then, some audio editing software like Audacity. And finally, a programming language with an audio library, like Python with PyAudio. First, we need to download the Pronouncing Dictionary from Carnegie Mellon University. Link in the description. This is useful because it maps a bunch of English words to their pronunciation, separated into individual sounds. If you look at the project's homepage, you'll see that the sounds are represented in something called ARPABET, which is an ASCII representation of sounds in American English. If you're familiar with the IPA, it's kind of like that, but without the steroids. Anyway, place this file in a specific project folder. Now go into Audacity and start recording things that really highlight each sound, and try to sound as neutral as possible. L like this. Ba. Then do your best to isolate each sound. Then in the project folder, save each sound in another folder named sounds and its corresponding ARPABET representation dot WAV. Next, go into Python, and make sure Pi Audio is installed. Then, type in this code. The text-to-speech class will do all the dirty work, while the if name equals main part at the bottom will instantiate an instance of our class, then repeatedly prompt the user to type something to input into get pronunciation. In our initializer, we define, then load each valid row of the file to a dictionary by extracting the word to use as the key, then putting each sound into a list for the value. The method getPronunciation loads each sound from the input into a sort of queue to play the corresponding audio file while also incrementing a delay to make the output speech a little bit more fluid. Then the method playAudio handles the delay and actually plays the sound. This method is actually based off the sample function on the PyAudio project webpage. Now save the module into the root of your project folder. And give it a quick test. And there you go! You've now officially made yourself your own text-to-speech voice from home. For reference, there's going to be a GitHub repository you guys can check out, link in the description. If you guys like this video, be sure to check out a cool Rocket League tutorial up in the corner there in a card. And also check out some of my other videos too. If you want cool software, head over to arcopware.com. And if you guys really like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, if you guys want to see more of this stuff, please consider subscribing. It helps a lot. So anyway guys, thanks for watching this video, hope it helps, and see you later.